One moment, please. This is extremely delicate. Hey. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. You know, be careful with the china, sir. It is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while.
Yes? Uh, I'm, um, uh, uh... Sorry. I'm looking for, um, the mayor. Yes. Please, uh, Mr. Uh, Kilgore, or what was it? Um, uh, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea. Monsieur Le Mieux? Come in. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. I... I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But? Uh, yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing. Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. <laughs> and how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference. And I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. Shall we? As I said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend. You ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on arrogance, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Well, luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. We shall have true liberal democracy. Working for the rich and the poor alike. It would be a travesty for this one man's opinion. <laughs> Put that into jeopardy. Opinions can change, can they not? Oh, they change all the time. Of course. The power of reason is not to be underestimated. Reason. Well, that's one word for it. The gallery is just up ahead. <laughs> there, Mr. Arthur. There. What's his name again? Officer Shiftaker. In there. The mayor knows very well what I found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. 
That's a big claim. One that's gonna upset a lot of people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. Upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Uh, because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no. We don't want that. Of course uh, we I'll don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. out. All those pains were real after all. <laughs> Problem solved. Wonderful. Wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Here. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. 